Hello, and welcome to the first year of WWE's ECW, the show where we take a look back at the first 52 episodes of WWE's re-envisioning of Extreme Championship Wrestling. Joey Styles and Taz welcome us to Tulsa, Oklahoma for another episode of ECW. Tonight in the main event, the ECW title is on the line as the champion Big Show takes on the Sandman. We then go to our ring announcer, Justin Roberts, who introduces our special guest for the evening, Oklahoma's own JR Jim Ross. JR says it's good to be back in Tulsa and thanks Joey Styles and Taz for the invite to the show. Both Taz and Styles are confused because neither of them invited JR to ECW. JR is interrupted pretty quickly by our school teacher, Matt Stryker, who enters the ring and snatches the mic from his hand. Stryker starts to bully JR into the corner. He says it's quite fitting that you're wearing that blue coloured shirt because that's what you are, blue collar. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty certain that you enjoy consuming alcoholic beverages and that reminds me of the Sandman. Eventually, Sandman appears and after a couple of weeks of Stryker getting away, the Sandman manages to get some revenge on our school teacher, even getting JR to help him out. Jim Ross and the Sandman then enjoy a nice cold one together. Jim Ross toasts to the Sandman winning the ECW title later on tonight. Hardcore Holly cuts a quick promo before his next match with Rob Van Dam. He says, I'm not going to stand here and tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you. Time for our first match of the evening, which is to be contested under extreme rules. It's Hardcore Holly taking on Rob Van Dam. Well, this match was amazing, but more on that later. If you're a regular viewer of the series, you know that I'm a fan of this rivalry and have been enjoying watching these two duke it out. At one point in the match, RVD and Holly are battling back and forth, trying to put each other through a table on the outside. Eventually, Holly manages to suplex RVD over the top rope and through the table on the outside. Holly gets the worst of that spot, as he now continues the match with a huge gash on his back. Holly remains in control of the match though, next dropping RVD onto a chair and then hitting a leg drop with a chair over RVD's face. Eventually, RVD manages to shift the momentum when he hits a suplex on a chair. RVD controls the next portion of the match, hitting some signature moves, including rolling thunder on a chair. Then RVD goes to monkey flip Holly onto a chair, but gets caught and powerbombed. Holly only gets a two count though. RVD manages to hit Holly with a kick, sending him crashing down onto the mat. He then places a chair on him and goes to hit a five star frog splash, but Holly launches the chair in Van Damme's face. Holly takes too long with a chair and ends up with it kicked in his face by RVD. Then he's hit with a 5 star frog splash for RVD to win the match. Wow, what a match this was. Now I imagine this is going to be a super rare occurrence on the series, but for the first time on the show I feel that it's only right to award this individual match a 5 star rating. These two battled it out in an incredible bout, with only 10 to 15 minutes of TV time and put on a classic, with Holly continuing the match with a massive gash in his back. Hardcore Holly even gets a standing ovation from the Tulsa crowd after the match. I mean, that says it all really, doesn't it? Next, CM Punk is cutting a promo backstage when he's interrupted by Kelly Kelly. She says she loves his tattoos, especially the four aces, which reminds her that on October 10th, her and some of the other divas are doing extreme strip poker. So we got that to look forward to, lads. Anyway, Kelly asks Punk if she can help her play it. Punk seems reluctant, but before he can answer, Mike Knox interjects and pulls Kelly away. Mike Knox asks, do you not have your own woman? Punk says, yeah, he does, but maybe you should worry more about yours. Seems that fence you like to build around her just isn't high enough. She keeps jumping over it and coming into my yard. Knox says that he's going to straighten Kelly out first, but when he's through with that, he's going to come looking for him. Christ, is that a domestic abuse threat from Knox? Jeez, that didn't sound good. Poor Kelly, she's an exhibitionist, she can't help it. It's in her nature. Punk says he will be right here waiting, whenever you're ready. We've got a treat for the boys next, as it's everybody's favourite aerial, taking on ECW original Francine in an extreme cat fight. Before the match starts, Ariel says, Francine, I read your tarot cards before the match, and your future says you'll be fat, ugly, pregnant, and dreaming of being with someone as masculine as Kevin Fawn. Francine then goes on the attack and strips off some of Ariel's clobber. Nice. Eventually, Fawn gets in the ring and holds Francine back so Ariel can beat her up. Have no fear though, folks, as Balls Mahoney comes down to Francine's rescue, hitting Fawn with a vicious chair shot to the head. 
I don't know why, but this match and segment was absolutely hilarious to me. I was laughing pretty much the whole way through it. Paul Heyman and the Big Show are backstage, talking before the main event. Heyman says that the first chance that Sandman gets an opportunity to get his hands on that Singapore cane, he's going to use it. Big Show reassures Heyman that he's got nothing to worry about. He's the ECW champion and a real giant. If Sandman comes at him with the Singapore cane, he'll turn him into a popsicle. Rene Dupree steps out of the shower next and says he's the most extreme athlete in the history of ECW. Did he just look at his cock and laugh? Okay. Main event time. The ECW title is on the line as Big Show takes on the Sandman. When we come back from the commercial break, Sandman is beating the shit out of Big Show with a Singapore cane. This match was a fairly even contest between both competitors. It was a bit clunky, but somehow they both managed to make it work. Towards the end of the match, Sandman goes to the top rope and hits Big Show with a cane shot to the head. He goes for the cover, but only gets a two. Sandman goes to retrieve the cane, but our teacher Matt Stryker appears and takes it out of the Sandman's reach. This distraction from Stryker gives Big Show time to capitalise and hit a Cobra Clutch backbreaker. The Sandman doesn't tap out though, so Big Show pulls him back to his feet and hits a showstopper leg drop for the win. Big Show has retained and is still our ECW champion. Right, so this episode gave us our first ever 5 star match of the series, so that certainly boosts the overall show rating. Opening 5 star bout aside, I would say the rest of the episode was decent. I was pretty entertained throughout. The only complaint I would have is the Rene Dupree segment. It's less than a minute in total and I'm not exactly sure what he's trying to achieve. Yeah, yeah, we know he's the most extreme athlete in ECW history, blah blah blah. It's just crap, isn't it? I'm going to give episode 16 of ECW a strong 4 out of 5 stars. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.